horse now as the 20 trotters await the signal that will send them to the track. The first horse to win two heats will be declared the winner. The race could go three or even four heats. And here they come. In order of appearance, they are the Fitzpatrick entry of H.K. McPherson and Specialty, the right side form entry of Murray and Bold Rodney, the two gate form entry of Nimble Colby and Magnus Hanover, the Dell Miller entry of Hugo Hanover and Low Water Victory, and Darn Gay, Egyptian Princess, Saboteur, Valiant Rodney, Ego Hanover, Dial Tone, Torrance Hanover, The Intruder, Demon Always, Go, Newport Dell, and Hoot Dolman. The crowd has made Egyptian Princess the even money favorite. The field, consisting of six horses, is second choice at five and a half to one. Saboteur is six to one, and Nimble Kobe and Magnus Hanover seven to one. The others are long shots. The dean of all starters, Steve Phillips, moves the horses in. Dial Tone has the rail. Darn Gay moves in second. Egyptian Prince is third. Saboteur will come out of the four hole. Torrance Hanover fifth. The starting gate moves forward. Springs open, and Saboteur is the first one out. Followed out by Murray and Torrance Hanover. That's Torrance Hanover and Murray racing for the early lead now in the turn. Saboteur's on the rail. It's Murray and Torrance Hanover as they move to the back stretch. The crowd screams. It's Torrance Hanover taking the lead now. And Murray is on the outside. Murray shows in front now by Annette. It's Torrance Hanover second. Saboteur is third. Hugo Hanover moving on the outside. So is Nimble Kobe and Ego Hanover. Valiant Rodney's along the rail. H.K. McPherson made a break between horses. And Egyptian Princess is well back in the field. Hugo Hanover races up on the outside and is now second. It's Murray on top by a half a length. Hugo Hanover is second on the outside. Torrance Hanover is third. Nimble Kobe is fourth. Saboteur is fifth. Ego Hanover is sixth. That was H.K. McPherson breaking between horses there. Valiant Rodney along the rail is now sixth. Egyptian Princess is off stride seventh and out of the race. And Hugo Hanover has taken the lead now. Nimble Kobe racing on the outside is now second. Moray is third. Ego Hanover on the outside is fourth. Torrance Hanover is now fifth. Saboteur is now sixth as they come around the turn. Valiant Rodney is seventh and moving along, saving ground on the rail. As they come around that far turn now, Nimble Kobe and Hugo Hanover race head and head. It's Nimble Kobe now on top. Hugo Hanover is second. Ego Hanover on the outside is third. Murray is now fourth. As they go down the back stretch to the three-quarter mark. And here they come. Saboteur moving on the outside is now fourth. And around the turn, Ego Hanover is ranging up on the outside of Nimble Kobe. It's Nimble Kobe and Ego Hanover racing head and head in a turn. Hugo Hanover is third. Saboteur is now fourth. Valiant Rodney, three horses wide, is now fifth. Around that far turn they come. Murray is still hanging on gamely sixth. Torrance Hanover is tiring and seems to be all through. It's Ego Hanover on top by a half a length now. Nimble Kobe is second. Saboteur is third. That's Valiant Rodney, four horses wide at this point. Murray is five horses wide. And it's Nimble Kobe moving down through the straightaway now. Saboteur between horses. Valiant Rodney on the outside. And Murray is off stride. It's Valiant Rodney and Nimble Kobe to that wire. Valiant Rodney and Nimble Kobe. And Valiant Rodney, a son of Rodney, has upset the apple cart in the first heat with a three-quarter length victory over Nimble Colby and Saboteur. Murray, who finished second, was disqualified for running at the wire. Egyptian Princess wound up 14th after her costly break. Valiant Rodney and driver Dana Cameron returned to the winner's circle. It's Cameron's first appearance there on Hamiltonian Day, although his brother Dell won with Newport Dream in 1954. Valiant Rodney pays a whopping $60.30 to win, the second longest price in Hamiltonian history. He was clocked in 2-3. Good, but not sensational time. The winner is owned by Alice Johnston of Charlotte, North Carolina, whose father-in-law, the late R. Horace Johnston, won the Hamiltonian with Bill Gallant in 1941. Driver Cameron and Dave Johnston, the owner's husband, talk it over as they await the second heat, which will be coming up shortly. 